Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today we are talking about long-term seed storage. So we're not talking about the next gardening year. We're talking about much further down the road, more like 10, 15, 20 years. So in order to do this, we need to kind of have a little bit of a basic understanding. First of all, certain seeds are not going to work. They must be um, non-GMO. They must be heirloom open pollinated seeds. So certain seeds like your organics will be okay. Um, just your regular heirloom open pollinated seeds are going to work. Your restoration seeds that you can get from your county extension office, those will work fine. Um, and there's a lot of really great companies out there uh, that offer just, you know, a tremendous great deal on seeds. They have been proven and have done a fabulous job from year to year to year. Now, certain seeds that I, like I was explaining, aren't going to work because they don't fall under that guideline. I'm not saying that company doesn't offer them, but they just don't fall under that guideline. So for those, if you have seeds like that, they're going to be great for your next gardening year. Maybe not for, um, a long long term but you might be able to get away with them for a couple of years just nothing that's um you you might have some failure within that so just plant accordingly when you're going to plant but if you want really long term storage you need to get something that falls under that category now many people have a lot of different ways of storing their seeds we've got just in the bags where you open them up if you'll notice here Got the paper clip on it. Got this one. Had it for a couple years. It's still working. Um, maybe you had a really great year and you've got them dried out and you just stuck them right in a bag. I've done that before. Maybe you've got them in jars. I mean, done that for years. I tend to kind of store everything in my, it's like an old cookie tin that you see every holiday. And I kind of tend to put the stuff that I know I use all the time in there, including, as a little side tip here, if I can grab a bunch of them, all these little, um, what do you call them, like plant tags. These are great to keep. And I'll tell you what, a little tip. I save these bad boys. Some of these, some of them I threw out this growing season, but I've had some of these that I've saved for more than 10 years. So when you start your starts every year, I just put them in so I know what I have. I don't have to make tags super easy. I just throw them in my tin and kind of wipe them off at the end of the year and I have them for the following year. But I have, you know, I keep them. I don't get rid of them. So anyway, just a side note. Back to our seeds though. So... We know what kind of seeds we need. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need to vacuum seal them. So this is one step one after we figure this out. So when you vacuum seal your seeds, it comes out pretty thin. I don't know if you can see with my, see how thin that is? You wouldn't think there's much in there, but actually there is. I've got five different packages inside of this vacuum sealed bag. So you really do need to put some kind of sticky note and explain what we've got. So the date it's packed on, or the year I should say, so it's packed for year of 2022, packed for the year of 2021, what it is and when they expect it to be sold by. So basically it's not any good after that date. Now, every single brand that you have is going to have something similar either on the top or the bottom. It usually contains like a catalog or a lot number, uh, the growing season that it was packed for, and what they expect it to sell by. It doesn't matter what brand, they all have them on it. So I wouldn't be putting something that's for the 2025 year and a 2019 year together that probably just isn't wise. I also wouldn't take all your seeds and put them in one solid stash. I would take things accordingly. So for example, 
I have um, this particular bunch is medicinal so I can it's kind of like a medicinal herb garden and I've got enough here for one year so I would maybe go ahead and put these together but then maybe I want to do a couple peppers and some zucchinis and tomatoes together it's really up to you it depends on your garden size how much your family eats how much you're planning on canning or how you store your extra things so you know if I were to do maybe some peas and some broccoli and maybe a, a marshmallow and a sweet pepper and maybe I'm gonna throw some cilantro in there I mean it's really how you feel like you want to store them together you just need to get your bundles together and then put them now I don't want you to think that oh I've got these really great seeds this year and I just I don't know what to do okay well here you go here's a fine example so my girlfriend out in Kansas sent me these seeds she had this plant and let me tell you I loved this plant it was so beautiful in it we call it Uncle Newell I just we really don't know the name of it but it's gorgeous and it has these little pods that come off and I was so tickled that she sent these to me I was so excited when I got them in the mail so you can take something and I put her note in there just because I was so I really was really honored that she took the time to send them to me um so I I put the note in there so I'll have the memory of it with it and I've got these all packed and they're ready to go now I took some of them out so I didn't have to put them all in which I did not but I've got some ready to go so that they're saved because um, one day we'll be moving and I want to make sure I have some to take with me so anyway so anyway we have you know you'll get what you want to get you'll either take stuff that you had that was a really great year for growing you'll take your packets that you have there whatever you want to do honestly it's your choice but the trick is the next part yep yeah, that's it it's a freezer and that is the secret sauce so you have to have them vacuum sealed but then you can put them in your freezer however you want now for me I just store mine up on the shelf here as you can see I've got all kinds of different packets I even have a big pack of like 500 seeds in them I think it's really important to prepare for our uncertain future I know that canning lids were a challenge this year but we've got them now um, and I'm not going to take my chances on my family having good food to eat now that I'm in here I'm seeing a lot of frosting I need to get off you can put them in a box or a tin or something you have that's sturdy that's not going to get damaged in the bottom but for me personally I just stick them up here it makes life nice and easy so now that we know we can take simple seeds that we want to hold on to and we can save them for long-term storage this is such a great tool to have you know they have the National Food Bank and they store these seeds so far below ground that it's actually a freezing temperature so being able to store your seeds is a guaranteed way that you will be able to keep your seeds for years to come you can pass them on down to your grandchildren one day who knows so anyway hopefully this gives you a little bit to think about um, I highly encourage you to try it. Even put some in there. If you don't believe me, go ahead. Try it out for a couple years. Pull them out. I guarantee you, your seeds will work. I've been doing this for years. I've pulled them out before and had absolute the best success. So I definitely encourage you to try this. Thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate each and every one of you. It truly means a lot to me and my family. Have a great day.